Thanks for messing around. A Vampire Swords Beswick 281. Giovanna Grano is going to be hurting her team pretty badly, as these cats are going to be a crazy. Crouch out Pascalina Bell Peace. Porta Ladonna and Poracho. On Tiny Bridge and four other stages, which are going to be a horrific disaster, as oh good god, Tiny Bridge. And cats? That's just begging for loss. <coughs> Why didn't I mute that? And I'm going to forget I coughed entirely during this. Well, this is horrific. Oh boy. This is definitely going to be the hardest stage. I have no room to maneuver. But reality. I get these pick up before the cats do. I wish I could get some attract warp. Arbiter on Porta level. Hey, it could be worse. Oh, big Reaper. What? Why are you... They get evolved when they touch the coffin, too? And of course they're going for Poe. Oh boy, this is a nightmare. Ugh, the rune tracers take so long. Oh, Poe actually went down at some point. I'm getting a lot of luck with the light sources. Not much luck elsewhere, and I've got a second sword coming up. That's not good. And multi-treasure goblins. I'll pose back up at home be healing to full in no time. Whoa, that wasn't touching. Like at all. I'll go after Pascalina, that's fine. Ooh, Treasure Goblin. Or er, Arcana Goblin. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, it's dangerous, but I've got to go for a wake. Reroll, reroll, awake. And my kill power is very low. Well, at least I have Santa water. That would be helpful if I, you know, had a tracked orb. It'd be extraordinarily helpful, but I don't. There's an Arcana sword. Well, it's getting beat back well enough. You get Flash Arrow Poe. No, Porta does. Excellent. That'll give us some firepower we were in desperate need of. Man, not having a max out empty tone from the start's really painful, huh? Alright, that should be better. Not clean by any means. Also, I think it's the first time I ever saw a cat disintegrate. In a this game, anyway. Boy, have I seen too many disintegrate in real life. Really depressing. But on happier news. Well, there is no happier news. Uh, Amelia Watson is stepping back from primary activities to do other stuff. And while I'm recording this, she's actually talking about all of that. And I'm not watching it because I really wanted to get... It's done instead. It's really dumb. You know, because I could just wait till she's done streaming. I can show support, no matter even if she's never going to see it. And I'm not. I'm instead playing Vampire Survivors. Really, it's because I'm a jerk and because I don't want to face reality or something like that. More cats. Man, it's Pascalina's first passive. Yep, and everyone's a toast. Arrow. 
Arrow. Leash, just your number of rune tracers is actually making it feasible now. But will it keep in the future? Will it keep in the future? We shall have to see. But if I go to the right this far, it actually is better to protect Pascalina on the left because it means the rune tracers have less room to bounce around on the left, right? Or I could just go to the left, they all bounce that way, and poke and carry the right. Oh, and Porta. Oh, these bloody cats. At least I have the awakes that keep me company. Man, this isn't smart. Smart indeed. No. Oh. oh, I must eat chicken. Why? Why do you not let me through? I'm so fast. Oh, Poe has imposter tongue. And Pumroll, so he's actually doing a ton of damage with it. Triple down! Triple down! Let me through! I want my chickens! Well, Poe's here, at least. Poe's here, at least. You don't think of Poe as an anchor, but... He is. Also, I need to mark the characters actually in the video. Because for the last thumbnail, De Niro was, and I forgot about him until after I already uploaded everything. I didn't feel like changing it. Woo. Okay, this is going better than I was hoping for. No, I was hoping for it to be an instant win with no trouble whatsoever. This is going better than I thought it would. Hope and thoughts. There's two separate things. Can I get that red gem? No. Man, why is it blanking out that way? Is the clear debris causing it to fade out like this? Or... Weird. Like, let me not move and see if it changes. Why is the clear debris going so fast? I think it's broken. Something broke with it. The clear debris is terrible. Like, absolutely terrible. Ooh, I got some coffin in me today. Oh, hey, another arcana chest. Great. Righty. Let's get some double attacks in. More cats. More cats all the time. Never stop cats. I think it's the cats maybe causing it? Well, she's going to deal more damage to the team than the enemy at this rate. Actually, on the other hand, all this luck does mean that I'm going to have less chance of getting cat scratch fevered. So there's that. Yeah, the fact that Pascalina is actually gaining health through this indicates that the cats are going crazy. Or aren't going scratch fever. Man, it's actually creating kind of a super death field. Huh. Alright. Hey, and it's no future time. I... God. Please save me, inexplicable rosary. Oh, wait. Poe. Poe has just enough... Poe has enough knockback to somehow... No, no, things keep spawning in and pushing the stalker back. Stalker on tiny bridge. Yeah, yeah, that's what's happening. Always getting basically protected by the sheer number of mobs showing up. Then he'll respawn. 
after a bit. Okay, I just have to hold on until 17. I should be able to do that if just barely. Also, other things spawn in. Help. Reaper or Stalker. Now I can go save Poe. With cats. Lots of cats. Oh, of course. Back to back stalkers. That's so fair. Oh my god, I can't believe I just dodged that. Wow. I can't believe I just dodged the stalker twice on Tiny Bridge. And if I just go over enough, it should cause the same thing. Or not. Well, I have enough revives with Giovanna that I can avoid him, I think. Take that, you pronk. No woman wants you, stalker. No woman wants you. Hey, a chest. But really, we're helped more by the cats by doing such damage that nothing else can even remotely get through. Man, I wonder what's causing this. Maybe it's just so many layer effects. Weird layer effects. Or oh, whatever. Hey, Reaper Reaper man. You're the one I want to see. Not that loser, the stalker. Come on, come on. Give me the sweet, sweet release of death. No revives here. 8.1 million, 1.4, 2.6, 6 6.2. Lucky, lucky. Thanks for messing around. And Vampire Survivors 281 again. We got Giovanna Grana leading Poe Racho, Clarichi, whatever her last name is, and Demario, who has no last name, onto Mount Moonspell. Who knives? So, yeah, everyone above Poe is actually done now with the uh, five of five of five stages. Yeah, it can actually go pretty quickly. Now I gotta get rid of that treasure goblin. Gotta kill it good. Alright, so the ones here, I need to protect Mario the most. Oh, that I don't get all that dang friendly fire damage from the cats. I should I could have pushed the goblin off, actually. Hollow heart. Oh, good grief, they, that was so much damage all of a sudden. Wait, Demario already went down twice? Cripes. Well, at least Poe is fine. Best of stuff. Oh, wow, and you got... Knight Sword. Donkey. Man, no chicken at all. And the eyeball's gotten big. Yeah, whatever. No, chickens. Chickens are mine, not cats. Man, you've got so durable, eyeball. But not durable enough. Cross in time from Clarici. And this is the first normal boss of the run, but I've got so many chests because of Moonlight Bolero. B -b Bolero. B -b Bolero. Lero. Ooh. Lucky break with Melise here. Help me get some of these gems. Spellbinder will be picked up eventually. 
Okay, I have enough speed to knives to keep back the eyeball and get a sweet, sweet reward. Eventually. And hopefully the cats don't eat up too much good stuff. Lightning ring. That's helpful. I wish got an Operation Guns gun, so... Oh, the, this wasn't dead. So I gotta go after that. Eyeball up here. No evolution chest for this ghost. Garlic. Good garlic. We love garlic. We love poo. It doesn't look like a sack of scrotum at all. Well, this is always a first make or break it wave, and I am not breaking it. Making it. I am breaking it, though. Bad. Yeah, I got some cat fight going. And they probably ate another bloody chicken. Wait, do they have a hit cooldown effect? They seem to be doing way faster damage than they should. Chicken, yay, chicken. Keep Giovanna healthy. He's the only one I'm going to control. That's the rules for the fifth wave. I only control the one character, the big old one, on the thumbnail. Everyone else doesn't move. I can't stop them from attacking, but they can be carried to glory and do their own thing. I can only hit the buttons on the controller oh, to stop it from going AFK. That certainly happens between each round half the time. Oh, that's a big lock. I get to the garlic close enough to really help out Clarici. Poor Demario, though. He's doomed. Man, that was so much damage to not heal it back up all the way. Having Poe here doesn't mean I get Pomerola over armor. Which is internally not a good thing to have. On the other hand, more chests, more chests. I really do need all the chests I can get. Uh, so I can get a weapons up ASAP. Guaranteed Soul Eater, at least. And eventually Unholy Vespers will come online and make Demario basically untouchable. But until then... There's only so much I can do. What the heck? Why are you here? How are you here? I mean, you're dead, so it doesn't matter, but... Bink. Hmm. I have a lot of choices here. A lot of choices. You know what, I think I'm actually going to go with Long Gun of all things, because they'll give me a lot of upfront pressure. And I want to wake early, instead of Sun Old Sanctuary. I did not... Oh no, I did get Empty Tome. See, this will give me access to unlimited weapon pickups. Or, well, nigh unlimited weapon pickups from the Black Chest. Which provides some more lives, which symbols with Awake. Which is helpful to have when you only have one character to control. Every little bit helps. Festo, Rono, on to Mario. It was getting no experience, though. The lightning ring is helpful. Alright, I've got a good frontal clearance on her right now. I should start being adventurous, trying to get some chickens back. Because who wants health? Giovanna does. Giovanna wants health. Come on, I went straight for that chicken and it still didn't get it. Woohoo. Arcana. Arcana. Po, 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 po. 
I'm actually going to go Wandering the Jet Black for right now. Because that will cause some silliness happening down there with old Po Ratcho. And if I get another one... Tanuki. Tanuki. Oh no, wait, I can't get weapon picks up. Wait. Uh, maybe I have to get one weapon pick up before it gets picked up. Before I fill out all the slots. Oh, it's nice and healthy. Flowers. Flowers. We're doomed. Flowers are growing in the winter. Boy, how is that a thing to say? Yeah, she can get weapon pickups still, even if both slots are occupied. And that's very helpful. That is extraordinarily helpful to have. Since it turns those chests also into... Weapon... Dust. Or eventually I'll lose a long gun. By then I'll have enough weapon pickups to get through this with no trouble. No thousand edge, just knives. A lot of knives. 999 knives. Clarici. Thor Clarici, that's her name. With her best friend Po Racho. Team Sourpuss. And then Demario is here being slow. I like guess is barely different from his normal movement speed. Not moving at all. And then there's Clarici. Who also can sometimes not move. Woohoo! More stuff to pick up. Did you really have armor? Did you have ar No, you got armor as a third pickup from the chest. Means that was the one that didn't get. T they got pum roll it out. So weird. Which ones count or not? Words applying to everyone. I mean, you're in co-op. Any sort of balancing is way out the window. Any sort of balancing is way out the window for Vampire Survivors as it is. Except for imbalancing everything. Gun time. We got more holy buck from Demario. That's only like his third level in it, probably too. Uh, yeah, that's the one third level he's picked up in his book. He's got the lightning ring maxed out before the starting weapon. Oh, no, explodey wave stuff. At least I can put the damage on her in front real hard. Summoner. Eventually you can get it. Also, this is like two weapons that actually benefit. Three weapons that actually benefit from Spellbinder. That's as much as you're usually going to get. Heck, what else does? Oh, I got stuck on a tree. Um, it has Diver's Mine and an Atoma Torpedo, technically. Uh, what else? Clock Lancet, though not for damage. Laurel. Not a lot. Not a lot. Frankly, fine with cat fighting instead of putting on greed mask. Greed mask is just too ick. Consider consistently. Don't know what the next team's gonna be. We're continuing on. Yavana Grana style. Wow, they scooped up so many of those chickens so fast. Them cats! Them cats of mine. Man, not even to 20 minutes and it feels like 80. Armored up. We're putting on the bullet show. For the bad guys.
Right, things are still going pretty okay. Hey, yo, it's the fourth chest, oh, and it's Clarici's time, oh. No, it's... Yeah, it is Clarici's time, but I was on the wrong... Controller. Yeah, that's the right word. All right, let's get more cats in here, more knives, and more bullets. The three things in the world you need. Oh, no more weapon pickups, but that's fine. Vacuum? Where did that come from? Alright, my damage has gotten pretty considerable. Small only are no trouble. That's a good way marker. Eyeball, eyeball, eyeball. Man, you're still getting pickups. What's. Where did this come from? What could have dropped this? Oh, the Arcana. Uh. What is it here? A bat? A skull? Well, whatever drops the Arcana here, drop that regular chest. Five Arcana Adventures. Ah, I meant to say five Arcana Adventures. And the other one. But I didn't. Oh well. We got some Moon Spell Mountain action. And some Mount Moon Spell action. Hmm. Not much in the passes at the moment. Maybe another Arcana chest will pop up and I can mad groove it. You zoom it. I want... Hey, everyone's got back to full health. That's to show you how long it's been since anyone's actually been hurt here. And that's with me doing weird things like going down below like this. No trouble. No trouble. Nice to have it go back to noble trouble after Giovanni, you know, went down. Whoever could have guessed that would return around this well. Heck, I was running over to Poe for sanctuary. Oh! That's true love if I ever saw it. I didn't see it. They closed my eyes. I didn't want to rely on Poe. So how did I know I survived? Well, I didn't. I'm just guessing. I'm just a very good guesser at times. Hear that, chaplain identity? Hear that? Actually, on my streams, what else have I guessed correctly? Er, uh, um... Oh, hey, it's uh, Orochi. Well, it was Orochi. Wow, that was stupid fast. Alright, shouldn't have any trouble. Well, I suppose between... Huh. Well, anyway, I suppose between Wandering the Jet Black, Soul Eater, and Unholy Vespas, and plus a whole bunch of cat stuff, too. Not that you can see the cat stuff half the time anymore. Yeah, that's so weird looking, not having the dust cloud kicking up. Ah, oh, now that's some classic cartoon action. Can't even get close to those chickens before they get snagged. Armadillo. Arma, 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 armadillo. I didn't want another weapon. That wouldn't have helped. In fact, nothing helps, but hey. Oh, hey, Labora. Because I got a tractor. So it did help. I didn't mean to do that at all. I just wanted a slightly higher pickup range. As well, might as well break 120 if I can go oh, even better. Oh, whoa. Yep, that's that mean end wave for my moon spell. A lot of mean waves here on Mount Moonspell. And not that much power on the map besides spinach. 
Oh, no, no. You got Duplicator. You got Candelabrador. But they're really hard to get compared to Spinach. Isn't like Lake Foscari or Ta Abyss Foscari where there's a lot of power that's pretty easy to grab. In fact, very fast to grab in certain circumstances. Man, them cats are keeping us good and protected. I got the double circle of Soul Eater and Unholy Vesper stopping everything. Poe's also here putting on some water on the jet black. He doesn't even have to rock back and forth to rock. Uh, I mean the, the bunch of 100s. Touch. Hey there, deathy boy. What? Super candy box too? Oh, neat. I know, it's time for some... Skip action. Because I'm done. That's 10, or that's 38. Got Amari, the cats, did 19. Andre and the Jet Black did 2 mil. 2 mil on the Bora. And 4 mil on the Thunderloop. Ivana's getting some cat mandu. Alright, thanks for continuing to mezzy around in Vampire Survivors, but that's what, 281. I don't know why I keep just repeating the name like this. But we got Giviana Grana, Sir Clarici, Demario, and Crotchy Frito here on the Polis Replica. Well, I know why I'm repeating it. And it's because of algorithm nonsense wants you to repeat, like, the name. That's why I'm saying, mezzing around in Vampire Survivors. Get that brand out there. I, I should have chosen such a big name, but I was panicking. I was panicking. Oh well. It is what it is. They're just going for Valorforth, because Valorforth sounds cool. But no, I just had to go with my bloody Steam name. Oh man, I can't hit anything. I have to rely on cats in these guys. That's not a good sign. At least I got rid of the robot. Man, I have so few weapons. And until I get more, it's gonna be really bad. Wow. It's been like over a minute since the last... A scan fired off. That's incredibly bad. At least Crotchy's doing stuff. Oh, chicken surprise. They're so surprising. Can't heal you. They'll need you. I got a chest at least. Well, if I get Mad Groove, that's actually pure beneficial to me. Then I can just grab the other chest. Well, yeah. Yeah, then I can just... Oh, well, I already have Ghost. Oh, Karate's bonus life has been pushed. I'll trigger off another heal. And I get as much pull off as I can with that. He doesn't even have all our passives. Oh, NFT. Oh, Demario, you are the one I don't need to go down right now. I can't rely on Poe to save me this time. Can't rely on Poe to save me this time. But, uh, yes. I can get Mad Groove off an Arcana. Grab the other Arcana chest. Oh, this is bad. And just grab all the passives and win off of it. Well, at least the eyeball exploded at the same time as Crotchy did. Just enough if that's a problem. Well, at least I can keep Demario alive with stuff. Why is it always Empty Tome that never gets picked up? Wait, no way I shouldn't get Empty Tome. 
Wait, no, there. Are, yes, there is. Okay, got all of them that time. Or, er, well, who I was trying to hit with. Prachi is slightly better, I guess. Mario is really the only one here. That's helpful. Okay, good. Now I can get mad group. And then sign old sanctuary. All the way at the end, go figure. Bible in time. And Mario gets it in. Which isn't good, because he's burning through rerolls like mad. Well, one more on the scanners. Uh oh. Good. Didn't realize that was the goat ring. Didn't realize that was the ring. Oh good, the NFT was just enough. Oh, that does damage. It doesn't just explode. Well, obviously it does damage. I thought it didn't do damage until it like, exploded. Not when it was like this. Stay away from those. Grab all these. That'll give me some power. I'm in desperate need of. Oh, that area has exploded. Too bad Crouchy can't move. Well, doesn't matter now, but he could have just ran up if I didn't have these stipulations. On the other hand, I will get a paranormal scan eventually, and that will... Out of bounds. Who? Crotchy, why did you get the chest, Crotchy? Because you're so crotchy. And if I get another NFT, I can grab one of them's dare passive thing in my jigs. Well, at least there's going to be enough chests popping out that maybe, just maybe, I can max out all these minis. Cooldown's also gotten far down enough that. I can actually reasonably heal things. Wait, I have knives. And bones. And a lot of other things. Including a mini scientist. Throwing more holy water everywhere. Oh, too bad I can't move you, Clarici. Too bad I can't move you. Well, maybe if I angle Giovanna right, she'll get pushed into it. No, uh. Usually they start on the top. I don't know where the duplicator would go. Why doesn't it allow. If I just grab it with Giovanni, why doesn't it just straight go to Clarici? Oh, that's a level I don't need to spend on a really good passive. And once more, I'm not hitting this emergency button. Okay, duplicator went off to the left. Let's go to the bottom. Unholy Vespers is here, so Tamario is fine. Oh, she picked up the other level on duplicator. Unfortunate. And I've got a million minis to pick up. Oh, if only I could go get that dang thing done. That emergency problem. Instead, we've got to deal with uh, pickles. It's pickle time. 
Well, I'm not touching that till it gets mad grooved out. That's too dangerous. Even with my increased power. I don't want to mess with multiple Atlanteans at once. Or they could just sort of drift out of the way anyway. Woohoo! Now we stankin'. Oh. NFT team. Sweet paranormal scan. No. No, where's the left one? One down. Two to go. And that's three down. Zero to go. All the Atlantis without moving from the starting position. Nice. Uh, and another NFT for Demario. Go, Demario, go. You'll win the day, Demario. Nothing can stop your actions. It's actually kind of weird, because... I'm just sort of glancing at the Amelia chat and stuff between the recording sessions here. And it's dating this. And while I'm not, you know, following it, I'll just wait till it's finished and then get a gist of it. Because I'm weird and lazy like that. Except I won't. I'll watch it in full later. I just, not right now. I want to get the video done ASAP. I'm sick of just waiting till... It's less than an hour before the video has to go up to finish getting it uploaded. Right now, that's still going to happen anyway, because right after this one, I got to go for a run. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. 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 Huh. That was odd. Run. Ooh, I didn't know I could do that. Well, I'll be fun for the future. We're gonna run around the clock so well. Take it out. Win the round. Look out. It's time for a Spider Man. Uh oh. Hey, Arcana Chest. And Demario picks it up. I think it's the best option. Sapphire Mist. More cats. I mean, would anything else... Oh, you had Metal Claw. Huh. I need to make sure I indicate that Stalker showed up a tiny bridge because what the hell? I mean, oh right, I should, you know, be near them with my paranormal scan. It's fast enough now. Wait, that's hitting multiple times. Because it can hit multiple times because of Sapphire Mist. Oh my god. Right? I saw that correctly, right? It hit multiple times. Yeah, it just hit multiple times there. That's crazy, and you want that for paranormal scan build? Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that's another doubler there. 0.8 might. And heck, with 83 cooldown, it's approaching the max. In fact, it's so fast now. Yeah, there was another fire double fire. No, that was like a triple fire off even. Another double. Does luck increase the chance of it firing off? Oh man, this has got dangerous potential. I mean, it's very obvious it should be affecting it, but... I didn't realize it would take me this long to remember. Realize it. <laughs> uh.
Eventually that cooldown is going to max out. And when it does... Oh hey, look. Bracer. It isn't really going to affect anything at the moment, but... Probably could have gone for the curse increase and stuff. Sure doesn't want to give cooldown to Giovanna. Plenty of reviving, though. Only one on the recovery. Hmm. I mean, yeah, you'd, it would still eventually compensate for the Sion Old Sanctuary with enough reps. Oh, putting together the most dangerous build of all. You'd want a Bolero. Inverse, Bolero, immediate double. You get Sion Old Sanctuary. Wow, I've lost track of where I am because she got so fast. I'm not even a baby. Not giving her any cooldown reduction, huh? No chess. Could probably, you know, get some XP. Found to be a giant red gem around here somewhere. So, Bolero to double up. Where did you get Prism Blast from? I mean, it doesn't matter. Crotchy has Laurel, so we can't actually be heard at this point. Hey, a chest. Crotchy, Crotchy, Crotchy. Yay, Gibiana. Increase my area. I need more area. Oh, a candy box. Did I consume the mini? I mean, I should have. Can I... Can I get another one? You know, I'll just get... Fractorf so I can get Polara or Labora for comedy. Alright, so Bolero, double into... Well, Wicked Season. Inverse. Grab Crystal Cries. And then Sapphire Mist. From the inverse on Abyss Voskari. Then you, as Cosmo, get Imposta Tongue. I Morp and Paranormal Scan there. Then you go Ham. You go Beyond Ham. Oh, that's a max cooldown. No, wait, you need Wicked. Yeah. It's Bolero into Wicked Season. Crystal Cries. So you start with Bolero, then you get Wicked Season. Then it's Crystal Cries. That little sanctuary. You know what? Sapphire Mist. Oh, there's so much you need. You need a lot of luck to get through this. Get what you need. Or you could just do it as Queen Sigma. I mean, that way you guarantee the Arcana to get. Eh. I think the double effect is just too good to pass up, and you need Wicked Season for high for high scoring. And the Apostate Tongue. I mean, you'll just get so much scaling with Cosmo with all three sources of recovery. I mean, I'm getting 65. I wonder if I can kill the Reaper. Probably not at 183. Well, then again, you can't actually get through Crotchy, so... I don't feel like waiting an hour. Alright, 25 million on Gaudiamari. 7.5 on the Prism Lass. 
4.3 on big fuzz of fists, 7.1, which isn't yellowed for some reason. Huh. And for Giovanna Grana, two Mezzi around and Empire Survivors 281. Beswick timing. Full arrow. Hey, why did post start with lower health? Ooh, Arcana from the start. Excellent. Excellent pick up there. Oh, and a whip. That's helpful. Infinite pierce. Infinite power. You know, sign old Feng Shui from the start. That is also infinite power. I don't think I can go low enough to get the weapon pick up. They're all going to get stuck on the... Of course I get that random event. I mean, I'll try. Nope, not even close. Don't even get around the bend. Oh, here we go. Same group as last time. Po Racho, Sarah Clarici, and Karachi Frito. More Treasure Goblin to take care of, because... Wow. Alright, get that evolution chest nice and perfect. Why does it go to Clarici? I guess... No. You can separate it by who grabs it. Weird. Man, it takes two hits with the whip, even with Sign Old Sanctuary? That's crazy. Phew. Alright, gotta be cautious. Gotta make sure I get this done, because I messed up the time again. Boy, how did I mess it up terribly. Worst I've ever done. In fact, it is so incomprehensibly bad how this is. It'll make what I was talking about earlier seem quaint. Because you gotta record this in the Mad Forest one. Yeah, I'm going over to Mad Forest. Because she's already on Hectic Highway. But Giovanna is heading over to Mad Forest. And this is being recorded... Uh, well, less than 100 minutes before it has to go up. Oh boy. And even if it goes as fast as possible, that's still going to take about 20 minutes. 20 minutes for the other. Which means I'll have less than half an hour to get it sorted out in CapCut and then uploaded. Thankfully, I've got most of the thumbnail already done. Just because I was working on it earlier. I just... I didn't realize it was so close to hitting the 1 a.m. EST. It's so easy to lose track of time, even with my numerous timers. But here's some... Why is she so damaged? Whip. Oh wait, I can't bloody tear. Oop, gotta take you off right away. What was that explosion? Mini engineer, really? All the rest of them are fine. That's good. Got weapon pickup. Because I got fire arm. That brings them up permanent like. I mean, they're not getting to Poe. So the shooters aren't actually that threatening. Especially when they're all on the left here. Yeah. I'm not dealing with that. Just go away. Stop random of enemy into shooter towers. Crazy nonsense. Of course. Ooh. Two are kind of before the minute. Before the first one shows up. That's amazing. An amazing circumstance. Well, let's get some more power going. Get as much damage as I can push it out. Uh oh, our chickens are starting to eat. The cats. Yes, that's clearly the right way that sentence was supposed to go. Your garlic, a big old hunk of raw garlic. It's good eating. Now, in hurry, it should only be 15 minutes for the stage, but between all the chest pickups having to select things, another arcana. It's Poen.
I don't have any freezing, so it's not a good pickup. Beginning though, that's even more cats. Eh, doesn't much affect Poe there. But Clarici and Karachi are gonna get the benefit out of it. Yep. Thankfully they're all on... Well, I guess Poe couldn't take it. Thought he could. Well, I have Hollow Heart. Man, I did so much damage. I'm getting a ton of Arcana. That's nice. Nice to get a ton of Arcana. I love Arcana. They're so great. Who doesn't love the Arcana? Man, it's hard to get chickens with the cats everywhere. You guys should get Disco a gold bait. Don't take single coins. I get a money bag like up there. Then I get some gold fever invincibility. Oh, nice. Oh, heck, maybe if I do get another one. Dragon. That's the normal first evolution chest, but Blaira lets me do it whenever. Just can't take advantage of it. Good, empty tome. A lot of money bags here. In fact, so many. This goes looking even better. Oh, good. Filled her up nice and healthy. 230 health. Not much is going to get around that, especially once Bloody Terror gets picked up. So many chests to grab. Adds five minutes plus a little bit from ending after trying to evade death, or, well, quitting out of death. In these cases, I have to do whatever seconds I can get away with. Whatever I can get away with. Can I get far enough to grab the weapon pickup? No. I mean, that was really unlikely, but hey, weird things have happened. Sadder things have happened. Nice big garlic. Huh. Does that have a death animation where it squishes down instead of just disintegrating like everything else? Kinda looked like it. Well, I guess certain bosses explode instead. Did I get... No, I took like 30 damage out of nowhere. Did the cats really do that much? And there's some big kitty cats. Full-grown tigers at this rate. Huh. Did they used to actually increase the cat size? I thought it was just the dust stuff that got bigger. Hmm. Well, I'll swears eventually. Hey, a barrier. Even with all these chests, it's hard to actually do it because you can't concentrate, get the evolution, which then gives you more power to evolve faster. Hit the very specific ones, but man, that's a lot of crosses going on. Two. Oh, I suppose three with beginning. Oh, did you pick up rapid fire? Is that why it was actually so fast? Rachi, did you pick up rapid fire? Eight crown. Oh, and the character I would want it with. Except it doesn't really affect anyone unless it's her turn to collect the XP. I mean, still better than everyone else because she shouldn't be going down. And Poe has basically made himself invincible. I mean, what's going to get through card and... Actually, how does cross wires work with this? It was usually moving when I... a few times I had it. So... Yeah, was there a... Why am I so hurt? Are the cats really just doing that much? Yeah, they are. Why weren't they doing this much damage before? Maybe I have to grab a wake or Sarabande if it shows up. Well, no, Rondo can fix this. Peace. I mean, it's all cat. Definitely all cat. And the chests do get hit. Uh-oh. I mean, I'm not quitting if she goes down. Coffin-wise. Man, uh, got so much hell. She shouldn't be happening even with the cats. 
acting so badly. It's all the cats, too. Nothing's getting close to her. Of course, if I had bloody tear instead of, you know, not bloody tear. Help. Good grief. Yeah, you're wet maxed out already, girl. Oh, the whole screen is cat fights. Extra revive because of the weapon pickup, at least. No, oh, that's uh, only that one. Man, they're just ripping through her health. Always like the only one that's not going to get destroyed by this. Ah, oh, the whip still isn't maxed out because of the bloody divisions. Oh, thank you, sweet, sweet Arcana. Oh, gets it again, because why not? Can't believe I'm actually going to go disco a gold, but I need the healing off of it. There'll be enough chests to just full heal her off of every one that shows up. There should be still some money around here. Somewhere. Hopefully. Well, one healing is one healing, so... One healing I didn't have. Well, awake could have been the choice of action. Oh, it doesn't even, isn't even going to her. This should, though. Yeah, there's bloody tear. And she's healed still. F wow, not even full. So does Paul get the heal, or? I can't tell. Plus six on something. Cats? Wow, the cats weren't even fully leveled and they were doing that much nightmare. Also, five arcana, 20 minutes in. Possible I might get a six. That's good. That's very good. And I don't have to worry about Malark and my rules about this or whatever. I mean, not that I attribute it, but whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. 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 Yeah, I don't know why I did two bits of the same Dr. Cox thing in a video. That's weird. Man, there's so many cats on screen. Normally that's a thing that you'd want. Oh, great. Stalker. Or drowner. A mini, mini, mini. Oh, I need to slowly do this so that way I can run you out of your timer. 21 minutes. Is there a chest down there? Yeah, there's a chest down to the left. Why aren't you gone? Well, Poe will be fine. So will actually Giafana, but the other two were not. Oh, Poe isn't fine. Hey, fire lugs. Okay, so whoever gets the chest tagged gets the heal. And there's another drowner, because why not? Why not back to back drowners? Okay, that was Clarici again. Hey, there's a gold fever. And eventually all those gems will go to Crotchy and heal him up. Oh yeah, so Drowner's still here too. Who could forget that? I certainly couldn't. I don't even think she's hitting anything. She's just randomly healing off nothing. Good, you're gone. That was annoying. Armor. I didn't have armor? Oh right, because of Pomerola. Good grief, the cats are covering the screen. Well, I already have the background image for the thumbnail up, so... Heck, I just need to throw on the other characters and it's... Oops. Also, this can happen. Yep. Oh no, crotchy moved! Oh well, not like it matters. I hit the thumbstick with my pinky. 
I indeed have my pinky finger still. Oh no. Also, you can't use your pinky for blood tests. Ooh. I guess it doesn't bleed enough. I don't know. I mean, there's gotta be a reason. I just didn't care to ask. I mean, there are a lot to ask questions when you donate. I just usually only think of them when I'm not there. I'm bad when I put on the spot. As evidenced. As evidenced with all of us. Another long stage two. Hey, Taka. I think it's Taka. I, I'm not even sure anymore. Well, he didn't last long. Nothing lasts long against this many cats. That's how you win a war. You just throw cats at the problem till you win. And they just ate more chicken. No, well, no big fuzz fighting. No big fuzz fighting here. So that would really cut out some of the time. Oh, crotchy, oh, pinky. And the brain. It's pinky and the brain. One is a genius, the other's insane. But which one's the genius, which one's insane? That's the whole thing about it. Just because he's the brain doesn't mean he's not insane. And just because he's pinky doesn't mean he's not a genius. And also there was that third one. And also... They got... What? How the hell did Crotchy go down? I guess he got too free dude. No attacking aggressively. Man, I guess they're just durable enough to push through. Argus is taking too long. Everything's taking too long. I agree, if I just turn away for a bit and bam, it's so close to the post time. I actually wanted to work on stirring in the videos for the next one up already, but... Ugh. And of course, it's all f heavy, far along levels right now, too. At least I'm keeping better track of the bad looking things. Oh, good grief, Stalker 2? Out of nowhere? At the last possible minute? The whole screen is just cat fights. Actually looks kind of neat with the uh, bloody tear on the cat background when it's not getting its slashes. Or the red and purpley slashing. Alright, wait for the Reaper to show. Oh, immediate game over. I didn't even need to worry. 16.9 uh, on the cats, 3 on crossed wires because nothing really ran into them. 1.6 and 1.8. Cats do a lot of damage. Oh, Vampire Spires Beswick 281, Giovanna Grana, Mad Forest with Conchetta, whatever her last name is, Mortacio, and Yata Cavello, a quirky white bear. Wait, no, it's a quirky white horse, so. Oh no, I've already rested. So, Conchetta, absolutely worthless as a secondary character here. Mortacio and Yata Cavello already going down, and this is being recorded less than an hour before it has to go up. That's how bad I am at time management. Even though I try to be good at time management today, things just always go out of control. Well, I got the uh, Clock Lancet, so Crystal Cries isn't a bad call. I have no good weapons. Good, well, I have good weapons eventually. You know, characters got them. But Conchetta is worthless. He's gonna be so bad. Can't aim anything. Oh, you went down. Something went down. Oh, really? Bone Shooter Towers already? What wretched luck that is. Oh, God. Really, you couldn't give me chicken. You had to give me the Bone Shooter Towers. Oh, Arcana, Arcana Goblin. Arcana Goblin! Okay, Mortacio, you're... Well, there's worse. There's Conchetta. 
will be contributing nothing for the longest time. Maybe if she gets a weapon, toss a ton. One that doesn't scale off area. Wondrous. Basically entirely at the mercy of sheerest of luck. Yep, that's not happening. Can't even really use my clock lancet to effect here. I just really have to hope I can get a good chicken. Oh boy. Run, run into the cats. Get me XP. Delicious XP. Super necessary XP. Please, more cats. More cats. Oh boy, giant eyeball. That's never a good sign. Okay, I got some speed on the clock, Lancet. That's helpful. I can just get this goblin here. I can just get rid of that... What even hit me? Get rid of that. There's two Arcana Goblins. There's two. Please, just destroy one. I need one. I can just get Crystal Cries. I, I know I can do this. Ah, why wouldn't Starburst happen? Oh, and you don't even attack. Oh, man. This is wretched. Yes. Reroll. Reroll for Crystal Cries. Alright, do I want Cerebonde or Out of Bounds? I want Out of Bounds first. Okay, this is all of the makings of possible comeback. Uh, no, that's not anything I want. Who is it? It's the third controller. Just to make sure you are Jail of Crystal. You are not out of bounds. Out of bounds is an hourglass. At the very end, out of bounds is an hourglass. Nuke everything with the freeze? No. Still, I'll turn Clock Lancet into a murder machine as well. You gotta get lucky with that Bolero, but very risky. Very risky stage or chance, but I've done it. I've won. Oh, but I don't have a revive. Well, no, it'll freeze and then she'll wipe out the screen if it does happen. But it's nigh impossible to actually lose short of Stalker and me not noticing it at all. Which might happen, but next Arcana, that's definitely going to be awake. I'm not risking it. I literally can't risk it. Sure, I messed up the post times, but it, occasionally that was just me messing up the schedule or, you know, a power outage. Not me not having the video set up. Oh, hey, healing. That's nice. Good thing the timer keeps going when it's frozen. Otherwise, this would be atrociously impossible. Get all them hearts. Every bit of growth, health, and regeneration I can smack out of this. And Empty Tome. That's excellent to pick up, too. Too bad I couldn't get the crown on her. So at least I can pick up my six. Oh, you have freeze resistance? Huh. Not immunity, but your cooldown, or your time frozen is quite low.
Video processing doesn't take that long. Well, still, oh, it's going to be so close. It's so insanely close. I thought I had way more time. That's why it's so close. We'll be done with this less than half an hour. Fort has to go up. That's crazy bad. Isn't it crazy bad? I sure hope it's crazy bad. Otherwise, it'd be crazy good. That's not good. Granted, this is also caused by the fact that I'm waking up. Golden finger, really? Okay, I'll take that with this blasting. Yeah, cosmic finger, woo! An all natural cosmic or golden finger in Mad Forest. No hail from the future here. Why, yes, I will steal Mortachio's anima. Who got it? Yeah. Giovanna got it. That's hilarious. Take that, Mortachio. So if he gets to 80, does he still get it? Or does it get stolen back from Giovanna? Oh, this is going to be funny. I don't think I actually did this during his run. I think they all got to a high level before something like this could happen. If I even use Hail the Future with them. What? And Sinal Sanctuary would be the other one I grabbed. Wait, did it blast them for the damage? I didn't. Maybe I just got confused with the clock lance it shot. And up to three already without Cerebonde. It's doing a lot. 65, it's 80 when they'll transform. Okay. Okay, no, that didn't do damage. This one do damage. No, it didn't. Hats at least deserves the freeze damage. Hats needs something. It's so bad. But yeah, you know, like one of the worst weapons around. Now, the only reason to get that is to get mini horse. Because you want to do great double greatest jubilee or something. Because that's worth it. Greatest jubilee is a great weapon. Definitely one of the best. When would it you want greatest jubilee? Hats for a lesser version. Is that worth it? Well, it does convert when your hats of slots into an actual weapon, so. I mean, if. Oh, well, I mean, I'd probably trade out Spellbinder for Mini Horse, yeah. It's not something I can predict unless I, you know, play horse, which will happen eventually. Yeah, basically everyone above this uh, on the list has had their stuff on Mad Force done. Okay, I didn't steal his Aminon permanently. And if it wasn't for evading the Stalker already being set up and me not having any time, I would have done double Anima side by side. Oh man, it's so nice. Well, that's what description is for. Invading the Stalker is frankly more impressive from a skill standpoint for whatever skill passes in Vampire Survivors. A lot of skill. A lot of skill. Mazo Familiar. Wow, really? Well, I have a Hollow Heart. Oh, what else can I get? Well, if I get Mad Groove, I could fall Clock Lance it if I'm feeling very peckish, but I don't have a revive, so I'd want to grab Awake first. Speaking of Awake, Mortasha will be grabbing us Awake. Like I said, there is no time for this. Even in the best case circumstance. Well, I've had a lot of the uploading problems I have had, Bailey. 
still. Still. Also, it's not like a thousand health is going to go away anytime soon. I want more health. Thousands more. Also, I think Crystal Cries would make... I mean, just by grabbing it, like... Divine Bloodline, you have to actually work for. Crystal Cries, you kind of don't for Toasty. You just grab it, and then you win. And you just win off that with no trouble. There is half damage. Or no, maybe Toasty just one health and then three armor. Got it low enough. Well, either way, you'll trigger it. You'll blow things up, revive, then get your health. And then you can just carry on with that till you win. So you hit 100 and bam, everything... Nothing can stop you. And because you're getting growth, maul this as well. There was an Arcana chest. Or not Arcana chest. And getting that double Arcana at the start was critical. I hadn't basically just lucked through that. Oh hey, the Shadow Pins are getting big enough. They're bigger than Conchetta now. I still don't know how that's the old sprite. That's the legacy sprite. It looks so much better than the new one. Got skelly arms. Skelly arms. Also, well, I do have the... Portrait, 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 or Poe and retired Poe and unfinded Imelda. I just don't use them. I haven't put them up for some reason. I don't know. Oh, hey, Mortachio, you're getting a candy box. How about you getting a bone? No, how about we get some hats for you? After I just trash talked it like mad it'll be funny. Not in danger of losing. I just want to go for fun now. After all, what can stop me? It, the freeze does count for the crystal hearts though, obviously. Just not the burst from out of bounds. It'd be f even more ridiculous of an arcana if it did. I already want to... Well, it's niche, but in its niche, it's incredible and frankly... For the damaging Arcana, I think Sun Old Sanctuary is the only one that could put in a vote for being better. Well, I guess Divine Bloodline too, but you don't really use Divine Bloodline for damaging on the, well, the weapons it affects. Oh, well, I mean, Divine Bloodline's the sole dominator of S tier. Nothing else comes close. Crystal Cry certainly puts in the effort for it. All these bones... I mean, if you're running anything freeze build, out of bounds is gonna turn heads to powder, ice powder, frost, one could say, or diamond dust if you're feeling Final Fantasy ish. Oh, do do. 131. Probably grab. Da da da. Another Arcana shows up. I'll grab Mad Groove just to get the stuff around the map for comedy sakes. Doing 300 dates somewhere. I don't know what's firing off what for what damage, but I'm up to 6 healing. That's crazy high. Good thing I got that Clock Lancet. On the other hand, it's a bad thing I got the Clock Lancet because it took forever to actually get anything to do the damage with. But hey, it worked out, and there's no threat, and I can get this done, and recording's on, and there should be no trouble whatsoever. Whatsoever. 
I've cleared everything so there's no running out of space anyway. Yep, no problems. I should delete the Beswicks. You know, the weird thing is, is that after they go through the processing, the final video, despite having five stages now, actually ends up sh being lower gigabytes than the individual episodes, just because CapCut compresses it so badly. Man, did I even use the CapCut for the original Twitch ones? Huh. Woohoo, hearts. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Sweet, sweet victory. That's more recovery than Poe. 12 on the cats. 5, 6 on the anima. That means she beat out Mortacio's own anima because Mazo Familiar beat it out too. Out of bounds, 8.6, 18.6, which means Conchetta did more, or no. Words. All right, and taking us up from 930 victories to 949 on the Beswick is Giovanna Grana and her compatriots. That takes us down to 1,006 more to go. Woohoo, almost a triple digits. Tomorrow, 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 triple digits tomorrow. Yay! Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Thanks anyone who's liked, disliked, commented, or subscribed. The support keeps me going. Please do so if you haven't. That's some six stalker dodging and double Mortacio anima. School. Anyway, I hope everyone has a good day and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.